Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we remember the baptism of the Lord. We can picture Jesus making the journey from Nazareth southeast to the Jordan Valley, then standing in the crowd listening to John. Joining the queue of those lining up for baptism, John recognizes him. He is taken aback. He hesitates. Jesus insists. The rite is performed. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. During the coming week, Find some little bit of time and remind yourself that you are God's son or daughter. Hear the Father telling you, You are my child in whom I am well pleased. Once again, even in these difficult times, the wonderful days of the Christmas season, have filled us with confidence and hope through the good news of the gospel. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Son of God chose to become one with us in our human nature. But the way He chose to be one with us was in simplicity, poverty, and obscurity. Today's feast is marking the beginning of Jesus' public life. Jesus begins his public life in the humility of John's baptism. Today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of Jesus. This feast marks the end of the Christmas season it is a good day to reflect on our own baptism and its significance for us. The day of Jesus' baptism was a watershed in his life. It was a day of new beginning. The baptism of Jesus is a moment of special grace in our story of salvation where he joined with humanity in the humble outreach to God and where the Father and the Spirit are seen and heard to be there with Him. Let us walk in this new year, choosing Him, choosing His way, so that we may be His instruments at work in the world, knowing that our Father in heaven is pleased with us. As we transition from the Christmas season back into ordinary time, let us together as the Church move on as people with a mission and continue the mission of Jesus. May our Lord Jesus give us the energy and strength to do this. God bless you all.